Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this wood sign using a stencil. So here are the things you will need. You will need a pair of scissors, a stencil, and a scraper, squeegee, whatever you want to call it, paint, and paint brushes, and also a piece of wood. It doesn't have to be this one exactly. It can be any piece of wood you have at home or any piece of wood you'd like to use. I got this one from Dollar Tree, but it was not a dollar. It was $3. All right. The vinyl that I use to make my stencil is called Star Mask by Starcraft. Um, I will link it in the description below so you'll know where I got it from. Now, um, I'm cutting out the design that I already had in hand and um, the settings that I use on my Cricut machine is just regular iron-on settings uh, because this is same as HTV. And also, the only difference on this, you do not mirror the image to cut it. Just leave it as is. So just wanted to remind you that if you're liking my videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. So the next thing to do, will have you will have to remove um, the design, which means if you have stars, remove the stars. If you have words or letters, just remove the letters because we need those spaces open in order for us to paint. And you'll see what I mean in the next step. Okay, so then once you've done that, then you're ready to transfer it. And I am using this transfer tape that I got on Amazon a long time ago. It has lasted me a long time. I will link it in the description below in case you guys want to try it out. And no, I'm not being sponsored by any of these items that I am linking in the description either. Okay. All right, all I'm going to do right now is going to cut a piece of this transfer tape and I am just going to measure it like so and cut it to size and then I'm going to peel it and lay the vinyl over it. A piece of advice uh, when you are peeling the transfer tape off of the backing, do not pull it like I did here uh, because it will create static and it's going to stick to itself and then you're going to have to just rip it apart. So lay it upside down, tape down and then pull out and lay it flat on the table. This way it'll lay flat, it won't create static. And then you're able to put the vinyl over it and you won't have to struggle like I did. So there you go. Once you lay it on the tape, you will have to use the scraper or squeegee, whatever you want to call it, and start um, just squeezing out all the bubbles and making sure that it's nice and flat. I have wrinkles on my tape because I was struggling with it so hopefully you won't have that problem now that you know how to handle the tape. So just uh, flip it upside down and then scrape the back a little and then turn it the other way and scrape it until you get all the bubbles out. I got a lot of bubbles for the same reason that I told you that I, you know, I did it wrong with the tape, I crinkled it. You know, otherwise it would not have had this many bubbles. But it's easy to take care of, and I will show you here. Well, all I did was um, start scraping, you know, the bottom part, one part of it, until I got it all out, and then I went to the the middle part, and then to towards the end of the top um, of the vinyl. I ended up pulling the whole thing up halfway, as you can see in the video. I just pulled it up. And then just started squeezing it out slowly to make sure that I got all the wrinkles and all the bubbles or air out of there. And it worked just fine at the end. All 
Now that I'm done smoothing it all out, I am going to place it on the piece of wood, making sure that it is centered, and then I'm going to squeeze it all down just to make sure that it's um, adhered to the piece of wood, and also that I won't get any bleeding while I'm painting. So make sure that you press down on it really good until you make sure that it there's no, nothing lifted up. Then at the corner, pull the transfer tape off, as you see here in the video, holding the, the stencil with your hand, so making sure it won't pull up. And then you can either use your hands to smooth out any bubbles or anything lifting, and then you can start painting. So when you are painting it, make sure you only do one coat and not two because otherwise when you pull the stencil, it will pull the letters off or the image off, whatever it is. And you will see in the video um, that I do make that mistake because I decided it, I don't know why. Even though I know that it's only one coat that I'm supposed to do, I did two coats on the red, but I did one coat on the black, which is the star. And the star didn't pull up only the words. So whenever you're using this, you have to do one coat, but make sure you put enough paint over it on the first try. So this way you don't have to do two coats and you won't run into trouble. But um, you will see in the video that I, I was able to fix the letters and I'll show you how I did it. And it turned out really nice. Always remember when you are painting that you do not have to press so hard. All you have to do is dab the paint on it, making sure you have enough paint to cover it, and then this way you don't uh, have any bleeding. So using a stencil on wood signs is nothing new for me. I've already known about this before. I just have tried it only once before. And I did like it, but then I never actually continued doing that for my wood sign decorations. I've always used permanent vinyl because I find it more easier and faster to, to make signs with that. And um, also it looks much neater and I like to make my signs look extremely perfect, which I shouldn't be that way, but that's just me. Um, but I have seen people use stencils to decorate their wood signs and I want to give it a try once more. I want to be decorating all my wood signs with using stencils and I am going to make a tutorial on uh, making a, a key rack. So for my next video coming up will be uh, using a stencil and to make a key rack so stay tuned for that so once you're done painting remove the stencil slowly making sure that everything is looking okay not pulling anything which you shouldn't because if you do one coat it will not pull off anything and um, except if you do two coats of a certain paint um, <laughs> like i did here with the Merry Christmas. I did two coats of the red and I should have not done that. So I'm just taking off the excess vinyl that is stuck in the letters here gently so I won't scrape the wood and then I'm going to fix the letters. <laughs>
was able to fix the letters. It still needed a bit more work, so I worked on it off camera, but I will show you now how it looks at the end, and this is how it looks. I am liking it a lot. I hope you do like it also. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.